Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> What's up, up, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. Or some ages. We don't know what ages you are. We don't want to age discriminate. Exactly. Uh, welcome back to another video by the Knights of Horror. We are here to talk about Los Angeles Haunted Hayride. The Haunted Hayride. The first year we actually ever went. Yes. And we got free tickets courtesy of Blake Productions. Muchos gracias. Thank, thank you so much for that Midsummer Screen panel. That was not only a good Midsummer Screen panel, but I think regardless, at least for me, I would have bought tickets to the event had I not gotten free, just because I was so fascinated. And yeah, I think that panel did a really good job of hyping me up. Yeah, so like I would have bought tickets to the event regardless, but the free tickets always came in handy. And it hey, was, anytime we can get something free, you know we that broke. Was cool. That was cool. Um, but thank you so much, uh, people at Honda Hayride right, for helping us out free tickets. That was cool. Yes. Um, so here we go. We're gonna rank the event. There was only four things to do, uh, and then they have, well, it's technically five. Well, I was gonna get to the. The escape room if you wanted to pay extra for that. Well, then there's six. And then Monty Revolta. Well, then there's seven. What was the one you were thinking of? Well, I was going to say like the whole event festival. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, yeah. yeah. Um, but we'll talk a little bit about everything. We didn't get to do the escape room because I think it was an extra charge and we were just kind of there to do our thing. Yeah, leave, you see the way my banking kind of set up. Boys can't afford that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'm okay. I'm gonna start us off with number four, which yeah. is probably both for us is Roadkill Ranch. I was gonna say the Hayride. Oh, okay. Well, that's all. No, I'm just kidding. Roadkill Ranch. Um, I think so. I had heard Roadkill Ranch actually throughout the season got better. Oh, did it? I just I I seriously think we just had a bad timing and run through. Really. Yeah. Because when we went through, there was well, let's just be honest. When we went through all the mazes, there was like no one going through them really. Yeah, there was no one going through them. At least the day we went, we yeah. went opening night. But um. I think with Roadkill Ranch, we just had a bad run through. I, I, that's what my legitimate hope is that it was literally we got the bad luck of the draw on that. Yeah, one. because like there was places where I was like scared, like characters could be right here. This would be amazing. Yeah, that entire open area with all the hay bales was just like don't this us. Yeah, I mean that's that was like freaking. It was like hardcore. <laughs> It was like parkour, parkour parody or parody. Par parkour parody. Parkour paradise right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, I, I think we just got a bad run through of it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think that was it though. Yeah, because I think like all, it felt like all the characters were at the last few areas. Yeah, yeah. But like that first. Like when was... you when you did the curve in the hay room or the hay area, and going down back into the actual maze, like yeah. that's where the characters started picking up. And yeah. It was really cool. Uh, and I, you know, I just, I felt like all those girls in there that were like, help me, help me. You know, I was trying to help them, but they just didn't want to They just didn't want to follow me. I would have taken them out. Yep. Uh, number three for me is going to go to Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat. Uh, I agree as well. Number three. Number three. Um, yeah, a Trick or Treat was a very fun maze. I, I really liked going through in the beginning and then you go into a house and like, you know, everyone's freaking dead, and you pretty much go through all this, yeah. all this thing. And then when you hit into the backyard, you're going through the other houses. You can actually what, something we didn't take advantage of, but I guess every door you go up to, you can ring, and something will happen. Theoretically, that's what I've heard yeah. from like even AJ told us that. Oh, he did that, say that. Yeah, like every door, like you could ring it, yeah. and it would be interactive. But yeah, if I think, you watch, I, I, I think I don't mean to interrupt you, but if you watch Fractured Compass's uh, review. They talked about how, like, previously, the way they, they did line control, I mean, it was a longer line, but that they allowed for all of those show moments to happen. Yeah. And so I think that's where we had bad luck of the draw again, is every time we went... The uh, character was already out. Yeah, the character was already out, yeah. But I still wanted to try, and I think at one point, like, I tried to go for one, and, like, this character kind of blocked it. Yeah. I don't know if he was doing that on purpose, or, like, he didn't see me, but, like, I don't know. But there were some times where, like, it, it, there, when we did bring the door, but it was pretty funny or pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I thought that was cool. I think my favorite moment was, like, when the guy was outside of this trailer, huh? With the candy. What about when we fucking walked through? hit the fog. When we walked through the house, dude, and it was all pitch black. Oh, that was terrifying. Yeah, it was like, I can't... I don't think I was scared of, like, getting scared. I was just scared because was... I couldn't see where I was going. If I can't see where I'm going, like, I'm... I don't know. I'm terrified. Well, yeah, that was just legitimately terrifying. Yeah. I hate the dark. 
And they had like this, they had a pentagram before we went in and everything. Like, yeah, this is. It was like a home. It was a haunt inside of a haunt. Yeah, I was like, this isn't gonna be. Yeah, the, guy, the, the devil's like, come on in. Like, yeah, uh, uh, it's a little dark in there. You got some light. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, I think it was a, it was a fun maze overall. We got some candy out of it too, so that's pretty cool. I mean, fat boys always happy when you get candy, right? Uh, number, number two, two, midnight mortuary. Midnight mortuary. Yeah. Um, midnight mortuary was a very interesting maze. Um, very interesting. And it really tied us to the lore of the entire event as it is. Yeah. Um, and we'll get to that like after we finish the list because there's a lot to talk about with this. Event. <laughs> there's a lot. Um, but Midnight Mortuary was really cool. Um, I liked how there was not only uh, there was a couple there was like two scenes where you can go multiple ways and we did multiple ways. We did both, yeah. Um, well, at least I did multiple ways. You didn't. You didn't crawl through the thing. Oh uh, well, yes, I wasn't going to crawl yeah, through that. I didn't crawl through that, but there was no scare in there. It wasn't, but it was cool. It was a cool experience. I would have um, probably got stuck. They had to bring out the turkey oil. <laughs> <laughs> then had to carry me out. <laughs> then had to push me. <laughs> Squeeze! You know one. <laughs> <laughs> one you could have fit through, honestly, is the meat grinder at um, Queen Mary. Yeah. Because it was actually big enough where you can crawl through comfortably and yeah. be all right. Um, but with. Midnight Mortuary, I mean, there was a scene where you go into a closet and then you went through a bathroom, too, in the beginning. Yeah. And we did both of them, and I was really disappointed that there was nothing in the bathroom. But I think a lot of people didn't know to go that way. Yeah. Because, like, it was literally kind of, like, off to the corner. When people well, it was like, like either you make a left or you make a right. Yeah, but it was like that room was, like, off to the corner, and that's why I was like, D can you go that way? And when we went back a second time, I was like, oh, you can. There's nothing in here, though. Um, but I think, depending on what time you caught it, there could have been, there, there was someone behind the shower curtain. Probably, yeah. Um, if someone, I think what would have been cool is if you would have had a scare right there kind of sending people different ways, though. Kind of like to do that special, special ops? Yeah, and that way it can, it could have been like one of those things where, like, both sides got an equal opportunity. Yeah. So that would have been cool. But, I mean, and then at the end, very end, when you go through the, the church and everything, and then you see the, 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 the giant goat at the end, that was yeah, terrifying. That was really, the, the, the ending was really hardcore. Yeah, I got, like, sinister real quick. You go <laughs> like, because you go outside? And then, then you come, come into like the, the morgue, the morgue, and then and you go to like, a church, and then it's like, what, 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 ooh, how do we go from a freaking hotel to a morgue and a church? Right? Well, it wasn't a hotel. It was like a, it was something like that. It was supposed to be like a hotel. It was like a house. Oh, was it? Yeah, that was a house, bro. You walked through a house. That's why they had the multiple routes. Yeah. Um, but it, it, regardless, it was very weird. I mean, no, because Monty Revolta talks about staying there though, so it must have been like a B and B or something. He was staying there because he was a dead body there. I mean, he could have been staying there just to stay there, though, too. No, no, it was a house. It was a family that lives there, and he was staying in the morgue because he was one of the dead people. No. Because he's dead. No. He's not dead. Bro, I'm not, sorry. Not dead in my heart. Uh, well, no, he's not dead in our heart. <laughs> he's alive in our uh, heart. Anyway, but yeah, that was a fun maze to go through. Uh, of course, number one's going to go to the hayride itself. Yeah, the hayride was so cool. Um... It was the first time me and Sammy actually ever been to this event, so it was the yeah. first time we actually been on the hayride, anything like that. Uh, I loved how interactive it was. I loved how much they came on to the... I um, wish we got to sit on the hay belt, not sit in the hay, but... Yeah, but it still was really cool, and I really enjoyed it. Next year, we know to bring multiple cameras to film multiple angles for that. But, uh, yeah, we had a fun time going on that. Um, there was a lot of cool scenes, a lot of sinister scenes. Yeah. But it's honestly, it's a good little 15 to 20 minute ride through. Of it, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's just something to good sit down and and then really cool. What what really made this event, though, was, was the, the festival. The festival and the interactions. Yeah. Shout out to our boy AJ. Reggie, yeah. you know who you are. He was on the podcast. Fortunate yeah. enough to have him this year. And he's only 21. And that 21? Kid, he's going to, he's, he's going to 21. And he's going to have, he's got a, a hell of a career coming his way, but yeah. not only AJ, but the rest of the cast of Ellie Hanna Hayride were flawless. Great. Like, Shout I... Shout out to boy, Herschel. Herschel. We see you, Herschel. We appreciate you. Um, but no, everyone was flawless, dude. Like, everyone we talked to, like, gave us more and more of the story. Yeah. We spent literally 45 minutes of the event just doing that. Yeah. Which eventually led us into the Midnight Mortuary, and then sure, we went to Trick or Treat, and then Roadkill. Um... I was just blown away of how much character interaction that was. Yeah. For this being a revamp of the entire event this year, and they really had this whole lore of the Midnight Falls thing. Yeah, it was a great choice. It was a great choice, and I think they should continue it next year, but maybe do a new chapter of the story. 
Yeah. Or, or if they are going to continue to do Midnight just Falls. Keep diving deeper. Keep diving deeper and maybe introduce something new to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, um, so I, I am looking forward to like seeing Like we get that. to eat at Reginald's restaurant. Reginald's uh, freaking uh, Falls Diner. Yeah, we'll fall on them. Fall into Falls Diner. Yeah. Shout out to Tim for that one, man. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah, there was just so much, and then Monty's sh- uh, show was fucking hilarious. I heard there was a couple different shows, depending yeah. on the night you went. Yeah. Um, the night we went was a Saturday, I believe. Yeah. And it was freaking hilarious. It's the best, bro. I, I love mo- watching Monty. Um, I mean, just his zombie assistant was just trying to give him stuff, and she was either throw it on the floor, or he'd like, get rid of it. It was just hilarious, and yeah. I think overall this event is... A lot of people, for some reason, didn't like it. I think, so, in, in my opinion, if you're comparing it to, like, Knots or Horror Nights, which are more like, we're going to scare the heck out of you. Yeah. I can see why. But I feel like in a for a family-friendly event, which is what I think it aimed towards it to be. Yeah. I mean, unless, I mean, for the, for the main part of all the interactions, yes. Yeah, because I feel like... Like if you listen to AJ, like there was times where he was playing Uno with kids. Yeah, and I thought that was cool. That was really cool. But I also think because like, based upon what I remember of the the woman who started it all. Yeah. Um, you know, which is starting the convention is back east. That's when people like people go to Hayride. They go with the family. Yeah, it's a it's a thing it's over a family there. friendly thing. And she brought it out in the yeah. West Coast. Yeah, uh, because there wasn't one here in LA. Yeah. When, and I get that. So it's supposed to be, like, family-friendly. It's supposed to give you, like, that autumn feel. Um, and the festival was really cool. Yeah, and I think, <laughs> like, obviously, the mazes are not at the same level as, you know, Knox and Halloween Corn Nights. But for what they are, they do a good job. They get the scares. They have a, there's a fun time with it. Like, I remember when we were going into Midnight Mortuary, the dude was standing there, and you could see him. Yeah, from the outside. It was terrifying. He was completely terrifying. I was yeah. like, oh, God, what are we walking into? Yeah. Um, and, I, and I think that because of it trying to cater for a large audience, and I'm not saying that Knots or Horror Nights doesn't cater to a large audience, but I think, you know, if you're like 8 or if you're 80, you can enjoy that event. Yeah. Sorry, Jackie just texted me. No worries. So I'll, I'll keep rambling. Um, so I, I did enjoy it. Um, but, you know, like I said, the only bad part, in my opinion, was the, the Roadkill Ranch because it just felt very walk through, no one there. Mm-hmm. Um, and with the Hayride too, because we were one of the first people on, some of the effects weren't at the level that they could have been. Yeah. So which was cool. Like I get it. Like we, you understand that that's gonna happen, especially with practical effects, and you know you got to catch a footing. So. What you see at the beginning of the season was not what you saw at the end. Mm-hmm. So I, I completely understand that, but it was really cool. And, you know, you got to see a little bit of the cookbook there. If you know what I mean? Yeah, man. the cookbook. For those of you who don't know, there is something that we did because a lot of the haunts that we went to this year, uh, our boy, I mean, we don't know him personally, but. We wish we did. We wish we did. One of our heroes, John Cook, um, was involved in a lot of them. And I'm pretty sure there's an array of people that are involved in all this. Yes. Um, but it's just, I, I think our ongoing joke was since John Cook was involved with, like, all these haunts, like, he was the guy that was, like, probably creating a lot of the stuff. So we ended up we ended up seeing a lot of the same effects at each haunt, and we ended up calling it the cookbook. Yeah. Where you would see, like, a certain effect at this haunt, and it'd be at the same exact haunt. So it's a, it's, it's a recipe from the cookbook. Yeah, it's rest um, from the cookbook. No disrespect to like all the other higher ups that work these events, and yeah. I also do a lot of, um, you know, going into it because there's a lot of other people. Um, Ted Dory was one of them. Yeah, Ted Dory. Yeah. Um, and from he's Plague. from Play. Yeah, he's an, an amazing person. I don't know a lot of the guys on top of my head, but I, if I were to see all them, of Thirteenth like, Floor, who all Thirteenth Floor. Out. Yeah, I mean, all these people that come together and do this like. It's like the whole group effort, and you can tell they put a lot of love, and they love Halloween. Just, Definitely. Just going into these events every year. So, yeah, ha- Hayride was fun, and yeah. we loved it, and, um, yeah, I'm just I'm excited to see what's what's coming for next year for that event. I'm excited, too. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because I'm waiting to see if we got a response. <laughs> we did get a response. So I kind of got the okay for it, but, you know, I'm... I'm I'm going to explain to her what we're doing. So I'm going to keep rambling then? Just ramble a little bit longer. Let's see what else can I talk about. 
Um, yeah, like he mentioned Monty Revolt. It was hilarious. Um, it was a great way to, as you uh, exited from the graveyard vampires of the hayride to being in the uh, the actual like. It was like festivals. a graveyard too. That was a really cool graveyard. Yeah. The festivals of uh, Midnight Falls. It was really cool. And you know, what was really unnerving is. You didn't know Herschel was ever going to end up behind you. Herschel! Herschel was, like, ending up randomly behind people throughout. Herschel was interesting. Now, from what I heard from AJ, Herschel didn't get no character interactions that night. Strictly due to the fact that... I mean, he scared the hell out of people. He scared the hell out of people, and we were the only ones stupid enough to go up to him. (laughs) Hi, what's your story? That's exactly what I said. I'm like, what is your story? And... He was a mute, so he couldn't talk. And all we wanted to know at that point was his name was, and... He spelled his name for us. He spelled his name, and hey, and from what I heard, he did that for the rest of the event when people were at. so cool. So I'm I'm so glad that we did that and gave him kind of a... Something to work with. Something to work with, yeah. Um, And I wanted his... I wanted some of his ice cream, but yeah. yeah. With the Pennywise on the side, that was cool. Yeah, that was really cool. Um, all right, but that is going to do it for this video. Uh, we have social media. What's our social media? Um, you can follow us on Twitter at Nights of Horror and at Instagram at The Nights of Horror. Oh, why did I have a feeling you were going to say TLV Media? Oh, no. I mean, if you can't, if you want to follow the boys TLV Media, it's TLV Media across the board. Across the board, man. <laughs> yeah, all the way. They just got a Facebook, so check them out. Nights of Horror Media coming soon? Oh. Uh, no. Maybe? No. Nah. Uh, it's NOH Media, you're right. Yep. Uh, no. Uh, we have Patreon. Um, from one to twenty dollars. Shout out to our Patreon subscribers, because you're the real ones out there. Winners and uh, Slave Martinez. Slave you know who Martinez. you are. You know who you are. Um, Y'all been supporting us. Yeah, we since see you. Beginning. We see you. We see you out here. Um, and that is gonna do it. Um, as always, a like, a comment, comment and, and subscribe, subscribe is always the best for us. Always the best. And uh, turn those bell notifications on. Stay tuned on next video. So always be ready, man, because you never know where your thermostat's gonna be set up. <laughs> I can't see anything!